If you are a car fanatic and love derelict classic car customization, design, and transformation, then chances are rare that you haven't heard about Discovery Channel's Fast and Loud. In each episode of Fast and Loud, Hot Rod Hunter Richard Rawlings and the Gas Monkey crew search for forgotten and broken down antique cars across the country to buy and restore at their Gas Monkey garage. In this video, we will talk about what the genius car designer Richard Rawlings has been doing now. So stay tuned and watch the video till the end to find out everything about Richard Rawlings. But first, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any car-related updates from us. GMG Boss Lost It All Richard Rawlings seems to be in some trouble and needs assistance. He appeared to be depressed and even seen doing self-talks in mirrors. The entire crew has been worried about him, and everyone accepts that Richard hasn't been himself lately. One of his crew members, Tony, said, He just doesn't care about burnouts anymore. They just do not excite him. Sinjin also expressed concern for his stepfather, saying, I'm here because I'm worried about Richard. He's just not himself. I mean, it just seems like he lost his motor. He even requests the fans to assist Rawlings in reclaiming his motor by clicking on the link. After clicking on the link, we can see that the video was an April Fool's joke put on by the Gas Monkey Garage to commemorate April 1st. Richard makes an entrance for his motor in the video and says, You think I lost my motor? Are you out of your mind? April Fools! In addition to that, the team was trying to give the best content day in and day out. Getting a new ride. Richard and his wife traveled to Jackson, Mississippi to get a new ride in the Vault 390 car show. Thousands of vintage cars were on display at the event and with a pocket full of cash and a beer in hand, Richard went in for a hunt of the classics in the show. He is seen doing what he does best making the best deal out of the bargain. And what's more, he is seen hosting the show alongside Collins Brothers Jeep's owner, Dennis Collins. Buying back the Hot Wheels Corvette. Richard Rawlings made a customized Corvette for Hot Wheels that he then sold, but now he wants it back. So he contacts the owner to see if they are open to trade one Hot Wheels custom for another. But later on, he sold his new build, Hauler, to the same owner at 112 grand. Sure, Richard knows how to do the business. The deal only Richard can make. Talking about business, Richard managed to buy a total of nine classic cars for just 15 grand. That includes a Chevy El Camino, 53 Buick, 52 Chevrolet, Chevy Nova, 454 SS Chevy, short bed and long bed Ford, Buick Riviera, and an ambulance. The vintage car collector went to purchase the 1970 Riviera, which was advertised, and seeing the owner had more motors in their backyard, Rawlings ended up buying all nine cars. And guess what? He managed to sell the ambulance for $1,000 in cash right away. Richard gets a Tesla Roadster. Richard expresses his concern for the environment and he unveiled a Hot Wheels designed Tesla Roadster that includes a recycled paper matchbox. From the packaging to the wheels on the second generation Tesla Roadster, it's all made with 99% recycled material. However, the groundbreaking matchbox and carbon neutral Tesla will take some time to launch in the market finally felt the loss. After a great day visiting Brad Keselowski at a NASCAR track on race day, Richard Rawlings offered his Ford GT for sale at Barrett Jackson Auctions. Without a doubt, it is one of the finest builds to date. Rawlings claims that, when I bought it, it was slightly wretched. We got it all built back with black with it, with bigger wheels, bigger brakes, faster motor, faster horsepower, you name it. It is a better Ford GT. 
He wanted to get $300,000 for the Ford GT. The bidding began at $110,000 and sold out at just $230,000. And he felt like he had lost $70,000 for his ride. But we could see Dennis Collins was ensuring that it was a fair deal. This brings us to the end of this video. Do you think Fast and Loud will be back? Please let us know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up if you like the video, and for more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel.